where you'll find the Patent Center USA's Emerging Voices Fellowship. We'll be here every Friday to cover an important aspect of the application process to help you get to August 1st with fewer questions. The deadline for the EB application is five days away. Only five. With the clock ticking, let's do a quick recap of everything you're going to need to submit a complete full application. The completed short answers. So, there are 10 short answer responses with a maximum of 500 words per response as part of the EB application. Remember to write and edit your responses beforehand. Um, make sure they're polished, that you're saying everything you want to say um, before putting them into the submittable box. You don't want any rough drafts in there. A professional CV is the next part of the EB application. So here, list any writing experience and educational opportunities you've had with the writing, any awards you have, um, and any publishing credits. Um, if you don't have these things, then send us your work resume with your education and job experience, and that's totally fine. Two letters of recommendation. Now pay attention here, because this seems to be where people get tripped up the most, and it is the most confusing part of the application. You need two letters of recommendation from people who can attest to your writing career and your performance as a writer, or who can attest to your ability to complete a long-term project, like the project that you propose in the EB application, and the fellowship itself being a seven month long fellowship. So remember, recommenders are not notified and they're unable to send in their letters of recommendation until you have completed your application and submitted it. That means until you click submit, they can't do anything. Do not wait until the last minute to coordinate this or to submit your application. And if you have to submit it on August 1st or around there, just because that's what happens, Remember to coordinate with them and tell them when you're going to do it so they can just put the letter up when the email gets to them. These letters must be uploaded by August 1st, 2017, at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you have any other questions on this, remember to look back at our earlier video on this. Yeah. The next part, and the last part of the EV application, is the writing sample. Send us 20 pages of double-spaced prose, so fiction or non uh, or nonfiction, and 10 pages of single-spaced poetry, if that's your genre. Do not exceed the page limit. 20 pages for prose, 10 pages for poetry. Remember that you should submit a writing sample that's relevant to your project that you're proposing, so if it's a novel, submit it to that novel, or some of the short stories if it's a collection, some of the poems if it's a poetry collection. Do not exceed the page limit, though. Remember that on every page, you need to put your email, your full name, as well as a page number. Every page needs to have a page number and your email and your full name. And do not exceed the page limit. So best of luck turning in your applications. I know it's crunch time here, but I believe in everybody and everyone's going to be fine. If you have any questions, remember to check out the EV page online at, e at penusa.org. There's an FAQ section. Um, or shoot us an email at ev at penusa and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks and best of luck.